We are tired of living in this clutter. It's messy. <laughs> So before you judge me, I absolutely hate the way clutter looks. So you might be thinking, why do I have so much clutter and why don't I just simply get rid of it? So there's three reasons. A, I feel like I might need it later, so I just keep everything. B, I feel too bad getting rid of it because it may have been a gift that was given to me. And C, I just feel way too exhausted, so it's just easier to leave things the way that they already are. But I am ready for a change. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's not this messy all the time, but this is all the stuff that is on our first floor. So we do actually have all this clutter. The hard thing about decluttering is that you get such emotional ties to just items and objects, and then you just hold on to things like forever. So some of you guys might recognize this lamp. <laughs> this woody lamp. That was in Jerry's room in our old apartment. And although I love it, he's getting thrown away. So like I said, it doesn't always look like this. I promise that this is not the environment that my kids live in, but I did take a bunch of stuff that is just on the first floor in random areas of the house and put it all in one area so I could just finally go through all of it and either donate it or give it away. You're also gonna see a bunch of different outfit changes on me because this did take me over four days to film and the first thing I started off with was Christmas decor. So let's see that. Today is one of those days where I'm actually kind of tired um, and it shows because I was eating lunch and I was like, oh, I gotta put Sam to bed. So I was like about to leave and I was like, do you mind watching Sam who was like next to me while I go put Sam to bed? Anyways, that's just how my day is going. <laughs> Okay, so here you just see me putting the rest of the Christmas decor plus gifts away. This year, I decided to get rid of 90% of our decor. I realized there were a ton of ornaments that didn't necessarily bring me joy. Hey, Marie Kondo. And I wanted to make it a goal to fit all of the Christmas decor that I loved into one tub, and I managed to do just that. But I couldn't get myself to get rid of this kid's Christmas tree. I mean, come on. And yes, I just put it down in the basement with all of our other clutter. <laughs> So lately, Matt and I have been more intentional about finding ways to improve our mental health. As you may have noticed, he's actually taking a small or long, we don't know, break from YouTube and that is totally okay with me. Our number one priority is for him to be in a better mental space. We really want to go into 2023 with a fresh new start, so I really feel like decluttering will be a great way to begin. <gasps> I also just want to take a moment to thank you guys for the outpour of love and support in the comment section from our most recent video. It was just really heartwarming to read how much you guys are praying for us, thinking of us, relating, and sharing even your own experiences and just encouraging Matt even. It's just like really warmed my heart and it truly means the world. Now, back to the clutter. Okay, so this is the main place where we keep our toys and it is not pretty. I used to do something called toy rotation which is why I had this cubby system going on. I'm not opposed to toys being in the living room, but I just feel like they need to like work. All right, Jerry, so we're gonna go through all these toys and give some away, okay? You don't play with this one or this one. 
He wants dummies. He wants dummies. Okay, so I really want to get back to doing a toy rotation system because having too many toys out is not only messy, but it's also very overwhelming. I thought it was worded pretty perfectly online. It says, toy rotation works because kids can actually see and assess what they have. Everything gets played with and appreciated. And with fewer toys on hand, cleanup is a breeze. Best of all, the anticipation of having something new and different to play with every few weeks makes each and every month feel like December. I'll still keep their favorite toys out at all times, like cars, teethers, books, and art supplies, but I'll be rotating the bigger ones. But to do this efficiently, I really need a new setup. So I went to Ikea with Matt and we got ourselves a new storage shelf. Need he help? You no, I'm being serious! Do I look like I help? <laughs> I'm strong, I think. You limping. I, do, I think I do need help with the cart. Uh, oh, the cart? Buying this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm getting to a point where I'm getting really unmotivated because there just seems like so much to do, but I really, really want to do it. Like, I, I don't want to give up. I know it's like a mindset thing. I feel a little bit tired. I'm going to take a break, but. There's just like coats laying around and stuff. And I, I don't know, I just really want to feel proud by the end of this that I did it. <laughs> I mean, it should be easy throwing things away, right? Or giving things away. But it's also like organizing too, which I'm not good at. I'm not good at organizing. All right. So I have this. And if you know, this is my first belly cast from when Jerry was in my stomach. And like, I don't know why it's down here first of all. <laughs> and his room theme is no longer toy story so like i guess i could hang it up but i just i don't want to i don't want to put it up as decor but like i feel like i don't want to get rid of it either so like i i just don't know what to do about stuff like this like i can't i don't know if i'm gonna donate my belly cast like i'm definitely not gonna donate it i feel like that's a little bit weird <sighs> like i feel like the only sensible thing would be to like throw it away but i i just don't know i think i'm gonna ask matt what he thinks but i just i don't know let me know in the comments what you guys think I should do with this one. So obviously decluttering, even if I do a good job at it, it's not gonna solve the issue. I know that with clutter, there's got to be a root cause of it. I'm not 100% sure why there is so much clutter in our house. So these are something I definitely wanna put in Matt's uh, dream office. He loves them. We just have had nowhere to put it, so definitely not getting rid of these. For me, I guess I'll just speak on my own behalf. I feel like my life is a hot mess. Like, I feel like I'm that mom that's just so, like, all over the place. Like, as much as I want to be and wish that I was organized, I'm just not organized by nature. Like, I just believe that my house reflects my personality, so that's my root cause. But there's a multitude of reasons, but it is something that can reflect your mental health. This kitchen makes me so angry. <laughs> I really struggle with this because I'm in here obviously every day, but even just the design of it, like Matt and I don't love that these this kitchen is like brown and dark. Like eventually we'd love to renovate it and make it really bright and white and very spacious. Um, we're in here literally all the time. The food is where we commune. So I'm definitely gonna have a tough time with this one. I know it's gonna be a headache. So I even researched a little bit about clutter and this is what I found. Clutter can be a physical manifestation of mental health issues. So the direct link between stress in one's life and the clutter in your home is very apparent. And I also found studies that say people experience a significant decrease in the stress hormone cortisol when items are removed, helping you feel more stable, clear headed and relaxed as you clean. So these are obviously all great things to read and motivations to declutter, but I know that just by decluttering, that it's not gonna stay that way and it's not gonna solve everything. So during this week while I declutter, I am going to take it upon myself to read the book Atomic Habits. This is actually a book that both Matt and I purchased. We each have our own book and I just haven't really started yet. So my time to read is right before bed. I used to just go on my phone all the time and then try to sleep, but I found that reading before I sleep kind of helps me naturally feel tired and I'm going to try to finish it before the new year so that I can create habits 
habits to actually upkeep this house and not make clutter. So I just had to pause for a moment and read this to you guys, but it says, imagine you have a messy room and you set a goal to clean it. If you summon the energy to tidy up, then you will have a clean room for now. But if you maintain the same sloppy pack rat habits that led to a messy room in the first place, soon you'll be looking at a new pile of clutter and hoping for another burst of motivation. You're left chasing the same outcome because you never changed the system behind it. You treated a symptom without addressing the cause. So hopefully this week my goal is to declutter the entire house and to finish the Atomic Habit books. I'm not sure how well I'll be able to do it because apparently when I researched online, I saw that it could take up to a year to <laughs> declutter your entire house. And I'm trying to do this before the new year. So I actually started decluttering on December 27th and today it is December 29th and the new year is obviously January 1st. So we don't have that much time, but I am determined. So this one's gonna be really difficult because we have a lot of personalized sentimental mugs. So. No. I'm definitely getting rid of this. I got this for you, Matt, so I'm getting rid of it. Don't you eat Oh, I do! You no! Eat no. <laughs> I'm actually getting rid of this one. 100%. Didn't I make that for you? I made this for- Wait, are you joking right now? Wait, you made that I for literally you. made this for you. Although, this was my first time making a Cricut mug. Like, ever. My tail bits. My tail bits. Okay, I literally cannot get rid of this because my dad got this for me and I just I just can't. Can I just really quick see how you feel about these three? I love all of them. Okay. And even though I just got these for you for Christmas, can I get rid of them? What? <laughs> That's crazy. Ugh, fine, we'll keep them for now, but we'll get rid of them in six months. Look at it! So it is December 29th. 6.49. Normally, I'm like here around 8 p.m., but the kids are both asleep. This never happens, I'm telling you. God is looking out for me because I really, really want to finish decluttering this first floor now, not the whole house. And I, I know I can do it. I just, I'm gonna do it. So like I said, this night, both kids were down by 6.30, which never happens. And Matt was actually out with his cousin, so I had the whole house to myself, and you know I was using that time to declutter. On a regular day, after we put the kids down is normally when we clean anyways, because we all know there's no point to cleaning midday if you have kids, because they'll just destroy it all over again. <laughs> so you might as well just clean the entire disaster at the end. Am I right? I think it's already looking so much better, even though it's not finished. What do you guys think? All right, guys, my eyes are closing. I'm gonna call it a night. But yeah, I am exhausted. My parents are actually coming tomorrow to help watch the babies, but I feel like I've actually done a really good job so far, so I'm really proud of myself. 9.30, so I'm gonna take my butt upstairs, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, it's a new day, but I'm starting really, really late because I was editing, but this is our sunroom. It's actually pretty empty and like not too much going on, but obviously, I still want to declutter it, and yes, this is what Jerry got for Christmas. <laughs> he loves it, so it was worth it. All right, no judging. Whoa, Whoa. it's a big box. I have no idea what's in here. From YouTube. What? Oh. oh. Slice and Rice Greatest Hits. Wow, this is, what? Ah! Oh my gosh. Slice and Rice Greatest Hits. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll see what's in here. <gasps> Whoa. Yo. So I made this for Jerry when he turned one. It's a busy board, if you don't know what that is. It sounds like what it's called. They keep toddlers busy. I really like it, but Jerry doesn't play with it anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of it. And now he wants to play with it, of course. And I'm gonna let Sam try it out before we toss it. Whoa, Whoa it's a spinner. I go down the slide. You gonna go down the slide? Maddie, I'm throwing this in the trash. You made it. <laughs> it's your reaction to like everything. You don't have an emotional attachment to anything. Except for the mugs. I don't know what Matt's doing here. But anyways, I kind of cleaned the sunroom. Although it's just hard. At first I was like, maybe this could be a playroom. But then we sent this to an interior designer and we actually really love what she came up with and just never implemented it. So let us know what you think. Or what would you guys do if you had a sunroom like this? Happy New Year's Eve! It's New Year's Eve and this living room still kind of doesn't look the best. But I mean, look at the carpet, if you remember what it looked like the other day. Most of it is just stuff that like I kind of grouped. So I am determined 
to finish decluttering this first floor today. So here I was just getting rid of the rest of the things in our living room and I just honestly think these clips are so funny because Jerry is just so funny when he plays independently. Like he can just entertain himself for hours on end. I do my thing and he just loves to spend time with me. And uh, I thought this clip was hilarious because he's just literally in the box. <laughs> he's like a cat. Like he must have seen our cat do this, but I think it's just so cute. All right, so I'm about to handle this shoe situation. And now that we have our closet right here with the jackets and the shoes, I'm going to put some of the stuff to organize it in there. We actually went to Ikea and got a shoe rack and I ordered some stuff on Amazon to hold our shoes. We just have a lot. All right, so I'm just opening the packages, putting it on the door. Don't know why I never thought of this and it fit really well. So on this door shoe organizer, I actually just put Jerry's shoes and then a few of mine at the top. And then Sam woke up, so I got him, and we were putting the shoe rack together. It's very simple and sturdy, so I love it. I love how they're both on my lap at one time. So now I'm putting it in the closet, and it fit perfectly. And now time for Matt's shoes. He has a lot. He honestly has more than this, but these are, I guess, just the ones that were downstairs. And voila! I think it looked perfect. I mean, it may look a little crowded to some of you guys, but honestly, it just kind of works for us, and I think it looks good. All right, Maddie. Looking fresh. Okay, so tell me why he looked just like Leonardo DiCaprio when Rose was going up the staircase at the end. Anyone else think that? <laughs> All right, I just wanted to see your reaction to the closet. I mean, I might be making a bigger deal out of it than I, it is. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at the door too. Uh, I, like, I like this one. Oh, wow. Got my shoes, huh? Yeah? I got more shoes! Look, Jerry, those are got... basically all of your shoes. Wow, this looks really good, babe. <laughs> Thanks. Jerry, say, I got more shoes than Daddy. I got more shoes than Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for the rest of the night, we just assembled the storage cubes that we got from Ikea, and then I had to go feed Sam, so Matt took it upon himself to finish assembling this together. I think it's so adorable, just how involved Jerry is. But yeah, I had no idea that Matt ended up filming himself after this. Glory is feeding Sam right now, so I'm still putting together the thing right now from Ikea. And uh, yeah. Jerry, what are you doing? Uh, oh, I love it. I love it. Happy New Year! So it is officially January 1st, 2023, and I did 95% of the house, and I saved the worst for last. I'm really embarrassed to show you guys this, but I just kind of want to be real. So, oh. Yeah, so this pantry was not fun. I actually found a lot of expired food, so I had to trash some stuff, which is really not good. I eventually want to get some bins to organize this a little bit better, but this is what I was able to do for the time being. Not gonna lie, kind of losing steam, kind of like over this clutter stuff. So that's what you get from me from the pantry. Uh... <laughs> Help me. Oh no! <laughs> Jerry, you want to put the cars in one of these? Let's put the cars in this one. Here, you want to put it in here? Okay, here, look. Here's a water truck. Here. <laughs> I know. Here, here, Jerry, put this one in the box. Good job! Now this one. I did it. I did it. And I am <clears throat> tired, but I was determined and I did it.
I am so proud of myself. I did this in less than a week. And granted, I didn't declutter the entire house. I did just do the first floor. And even so, there are definitely some many aspects of the house that are still cluttered, but it's a process. I would say I decluttered about 70% of the first floor because in drawers, it's definitely still cluttery. Nonetheless, I decluttered the parts that we are in the most, like the living room, the kitchen. Like this morning, I literally looked, I came downstairs and I was so happy after I put the kids down for a nap. I was like, wow, it just feels way more airy and light and simple. And I don't know, I could almost cry just thinking about it. <laughs> I'm just like, so grateful. It feels very um, clean and I feel like I'll be able to think better uh, Matt was really happy about it too. All right, Matt, so I just wanted to know how you felt about this decluttered home. I'm actually, I'm pretty, I feel great. Um, it's nice, a, a nice clean home really helps you uh, not feel as stressed, I would say. Yes, and actually it's been like four days since we decluttered and it's still uncluttered. Yeah. If that's a real word. <laughs> I, I make sure to put everything I know. away in the moment that yeah. something happens. So I, uh, I'm like looking around, seeing what to clean like every moment. <laughs> so I day. guess it worked. Yeah. And he was really helpful in the process too, even though, you know, he hasn't really been on the channel. Like he was down to just be in there and help me. Um, and it was just really awesome. I understand why it says online that it could take up to a year to declutter your house. I'm literally telling you, if I were to be going through every single area in our house that needed to be decluttered, it would probably take me a year. Like I really genuinely think so. I just kind of speed did it. But also keep in mind, we have two kids and I did this while they were either napping or while they're awake, but like they would just be kind of like hanging around, but then like have to take multiple stops and stuff. So it was really challenging and I'm really, really tired, but it was absolutely worth it. And I just hope that you guys are inspired that you can do this too, even if you have a super busy life. And it's more of a progression, not really like something that you could do in one day. So if you're willing, I definitely recommend it. One thing that I kind of failed on was reading the uh, Atomic Habits book. I definitely started it and I like what I read, but it's a book that I really, really want to finish and read um, so that I can keep up with this. So hopefully in a month or two, I'll be able to be like, yeah, it's not cluttered anymore. Like I didn't fall back. So please definitely comment down below if you resonated with this, if it inspired you. And also don't forget to subscribe and like this video because it'll help us. We definitely want to come back with more videos like this. Even when Matt's more on the channel, we definitely have thought about doing this style. So let us know if you like that type as well. So yeah, thank you so much for joining this journey. All right, see you guys. Ha <laughs> ha!